Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Thursday, the 20th of April. I am on kind of Seaside's Way, the car park at the back of the tram sheds. That bull tower over there, the road down there, Foxhall Village there. And this is the back end of the field, as I call it, development that we've been filming. We look there, you can get a good view of the football ground. So you can see exactly where I am. And I know you're probably thinking, why are you here like filming this when you were there yesterday and or the day before and there wasn't much going on. They were removing all the fences at the other end. So today when I came out I thought I'd give you a look at this end. The gate's open there, I'm not going to walk in, but we're going to look round it. So, the latest info I have, and feel free to correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, is this area here, this is a bit that's fenced off, it's going to be owned by the football ground and it's going to be full size football pitches. I'm not sure if they're going to be all weather or grass. But yeah, it's going to be full size football pitches and the front bit, which initially was just going to be a field and then people said, oh, there'll be something else built on it. From what I've heard, that is going to be small football pitches, like five a side size. And I think those ones are going to be more accessible to the public. And whilst I was on my way to the shops, I did walk past the other side of the field and there was loads of piles of earth all over it just dispersed in handy dandy little piles so my thought was if they're going to level it all off because it will have to be somewhat level for football pitches i mean it won't have to be bowling green level but it will have to be a decent kind of level and also if they're going to put actual grass on it there's going to have to be some fairly decent topsoil. So that's probably why those piles were there. But we are going to go through this little gate around the side and the back of the football ground. Look at that, we can just peep through there. Let's just come out again. So we are going to go down the back here of this little gateway, doorway, whatever you want to call it, and take a look at the main part of the field that we've been following and see what the state of it is today. But I thought you'd enjoy a little walk down here because this little bit hasn't changed for decades and it possibly will be changing in the near future with all this development going on in this area. So I thought it'd be cool to get a bit of footage of this area as we walk past. So that's why I'm still filming rather than turning the camera off till we get to our field. I will have to turn the camera off once I get to this corner though, because across the road, there's a ton of school kids on Riffle Park, so I'm going to stop filming before we get to the corner. So yeah. I will see you guys in a second when we are at the other side. So here we are, right back around the corner. And as you can see, that's the fence bit what we've just looked at from the other side. It's still all fenced off from down there and all to the way to the end, that's where we were at the back off. But this is the field that we've been following. As you can see down here, here are these mounds of earth that I was talking about. They're pretty much all dispersed along there. When I passed earlier, they did have some little I don't know what you call them, dump trucks. I don't think they were dump trucks. 
then they were dumping earth here where we can see along the side so there's been a lot of earth dumped here on this little slopey bit and it's looking a lot more even now so yeah maybe they are just flattening it off and putting some handy topsoil on top so they can lay grass but as you can see there is activity going on so yeah that is a short update of the field and you can expect more updates today assuming I can come out later to film again because as I was walking back from Home Bargains there's a lot of activity at the Foxhall Village Tilsley Road, Rigby Road site at the top it looked like they'd pulled out all the old foundations that were partially built and it also looks like well doesn't look like it they are doing it they're knocking down all the previously semi-built houses that were a part of the original Foxhall Village development because there were two or three houses that were like almost completely built they just needed finishing off and they've just been or being annihilated so the plan is we're going to do the rest of the shopping we're going to go to Lidl's go home for a bit maybe have something to eat rest for a bit and come out at tea time or after tea and I'll try to get some footage of that development for you but for now I hope you enjoyed this short video and I shall see you all soon in the next one goodbye So if you come to Blackpool and you want to park your car, how much is it to use the Foxhall Village car park? Well, there you go folks, there are the charges. Up to three hours, £4. Up to six hours, £7. Up to 12 hours, £11. Up to 18 hours, £13. And so on and so forth. I'm sure you can pause this and read them all for yourself. But that is the car park prices and if you don't know where the Foxhall Village car park is you can see the tower over there not too far away and if I turn around slowly that is seaside as way and if I keep going Fairly close to the football ground and not too far away from the town.